get, 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 get back. Don't you make no Quality caravan vlogging. Welcome. Right, before you uh, immediately switch off, no, it's not a rehash of a vlog from last year. Today, I've got some new glasses, which were very much like my old glasses. Uh, you may remember, like the old Michael Caine ones. Where are they? They're here somewhere. I don't know where they are. Anyway, here they are. New ones. Spec savers. Not sponsored. <laughs> I may have, might have said a little while ago that I think on my left eye is developing the cataract. Uh, which affects the vision so I've gone from maybe long sighted to short sighted in my left eye which meant I needed a new prescription so I've got these new glasses and honestly they're giving me a feeling like motion sickness if you if you remember if you have glasses and you can remember the first time you got glasses that kind of really weird feeling you get like everything is kind of not quite right and so at the moment I'm wondering about not able to quite judge distances <laughs> Um, hopefully it will sort out in a few days so anyway that's by the by so this weekend this bank holiday weekend and we are meant to be away obviously uh, with no caravan we haven't managed to go so we were going to Tewkesbury with a few other people just um, a few people doing a meetup um, which we had arranged for last year but was cancelled because of Covid and we did it this year and obviously now we've had to cancel because of having no caravan so on that subject, um, just briefly like to thank a few people, but a few people have offered to loan us their caravan when they weren't using it, which is very, very nice of them and completely unexpected. Um, so thanks for that. Um, it's not something we took advantage of because, um, well, this, as you know, this situation has, has been resolved. I think I said last week that we were getting it soon. So we're actually hoping to get it sometime in late june certainly hopefully have it by july now i know a few people have been delayed looking at the facebook group a few people have had their caravans delayed i've not had anybody swift it's mainly been eldis been put back by quite a quite a lengthy period so i think swift are doing okay fingers crossed touch wood so that should be you know we should be back in business in june july rather uh, which is great because we've got a few things booked in july something else i just wanted to mention briefly a couple of people have asked about maybe doing a meetup um, and I know a few other vloggers have done it it's kind of done I'll be honest it's not really our style so so a few people have asked and it's not something we really do I mean we like we don't go on rallies and stuff like that because we really don't like um to, well how can I put this say so we don't really like a lot of people around that's not actually true but it's not really what we do so those that have asked if I was gonna sort out a, a, some sort of meetup then the answer is no um, feel free to meet each other obviously uh, but it's not really what we do now what we'll say is I am going to the NEC show in October assuming it's on I'm booked into a site so I'll be there most of the week so if you're there I know it's a while off yet but if you're there in October Birmingham NEC then I'll be hovering about somewhere trying to vlog and not doing any vlog successfully Look, last time I went I went for five days and I mean if you've ever been for one day it's, it's quite a quite a marathon you have to walk around and I did it for five days and I was absolutely shattered and got maybe one vlog because I'm rubbish at that sort of thing you know like it's okay one thing sitting in your office and doing it but if you're holding the camera up walking around here and you see loads of people there I know it's going to surprise you but I'm not privileged enough to get into the show early uh, so I'm, I'm in the same time as everybody else another thing I wanted to show you and um, so there are my notes I think when I was if you watch regularly you'll know well a couple of years ago I did the uh, review of the cart jockey wheel now cart sent us that jockey wheel but at the same time they also sent it to a few other vloggers and i was like oh my god it was one of those situations where i know you're not going to get something exclusively it could be in a small channel but the point being i purchased another jockey wheel i purchased myself a cart jockey wheel for our caravan <laughs> which uh, i'd bought the caravan ordered the jockey wheel um crashed the caravan the caravan went back to the dealer and almost well two days after that the uh, Chris registration turned up and the jockey wheel and it was the same day that I actually had to report the crash to the insurance so that made me thinking thinking has anyone else written off a caravan it be it new or second hand uh, written off a caravan before they've even had the Chris documentation I mean that's that's pretty spectacular isn't it so anyway so the car jockey wheel turned up 
here it is. If you don't know what they are, then I'll show you briefly. They're quite heavy. Yahoo! So they're distinctive by the orange wheel, as you see there. Now these are really, really good. Um, they kind of click as they go up and down, and they have a really, and they've got a solid rubber wheel and really hefty um, metal shaft. Put it back. Is it, what is it done? Yes, one more thing I will say about the cart jockey wheel is I've seen a few on Amazon. Now, I think the Caravan Club sell them for around about £60. Um, and if you're a member, you get a discount. So I knew this, so I went onto the Caravan Club site, bought the jockey wheel, paid for it, and thought, hang on a minute, that wasn't a discount. And when I went back, you meant to put a discount code in. Now, God knows why they can't figure out that you've logged in, so you're obviously a member, and just automatically give you the discount. So I missed out on the discount maybe 10 pound or so i don't know whatever but anyway i highly recommend those and obviously i'm not sponsored by a car I'm, i bought, bought that myself it's just for us they made all the difference now the, the kind of the jockey wheel you get with the new caravan or even with a used caravan it's kind of akin to the wheel of a kid's trike it's like plastic and and brakes and we have a gravel drive and it actually made indents into the plastic the the, the drive so it was like after about two months it was like peppered but so put that on like i did the comparison with the pneumatic pneumatic is that right is that the right word yeah the blow up wheel and the car and the original and the car one is just honestly so much better now i was tempted to get the alco premium jockey wheel which has the built-in nose weight on it now i've read a few reviews that to say that the nose weight wasn't that accurate or there was some um, and they are flipping expensive. I mean, uh, over a hundred pounds, I think. But they do look really good. Now, does it matter that the jockey wheel looks good? Well, to me, yes, I like things to look good. Now, when I when I eventually retire, it will be a different kind of approach I'll have to things. I'll definitely will be looking at um, value. So, yep, yeah, I'll say like cheap is best. But whilst I'm earning money, um, I'm going to get the best I can afford and in my opinion the car jockey wheel is the best jockey wheel i know it's only a jockey wheel but for me with twin axle motor movers gravel drive it's far superior to any other jockey wheel in my humble opinion but what do i know so as i say hopefully we're getting the caravan in probably a month from now we should have it where are we now so yeah about a month from now we should have it so if you've been away in your caravan I hope you enjoyed yourself don't worry about us <laughs> we've been sitting in the garden because the weather's finally turned so it's good weather did I mention? No, I didn't. Actually, there's one more thing. One more thing. 5,000 subscribers. That's fantastic. I mean, I know we got quite a lot of subscriptions, subscribers off the back of the accident. Now, maybe once the uh, insurance is resolved and we've got a new caravan, then we'll lose 2,000 subscribers. Who knows? Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter the amount of subscribers. So there's no point in having subscribers that don't watch any of your vlogs. It's an irrelevant number, really. And in some ways, it's a vanity number for vloggers. But it's a nice little milestone for us, a small channel, to get to 5,000. Thanks to everybody that watches, comments, subscribes. So that's pretty much all I've got to say, really. I don't even know what this vlog was about. It's, uh, I think it's about getting new glasses, it's about the car jockey wheel, and it's about who else has written off Caravan before they've had the Chris documentation. Now, I don't want to turn this into a competition. I don't, I don't expect you to get a brand new caravan. <laughs> totally go, I wrote a caravan off quicker than you. Um, that would be stupid. So I hope you're all enjoying your time away with your caravan. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.